Well, this is the time of the year and time of the season when people get together with family and with friends and they show kindness, they show love for one another. And this year especially, on Christmas Day, Deb and I drove down into Pasadena and we noticed something over at one of the parks. I wanna to talk to you about that today in your morning cup of inspiration. As we were there, we've noticed people, not just one or two, but several coming up and, and helping the homeless folks. They were bringing them coffee, they're bringing them food, they were talking with them, praying with them giving them things I think that they would need. And we said, you know, we've seen this before, but not as many as we saw this year. Now, I, I don't know if it's because the economy is doing better. Maybe people are being blessed. They want to bless other people, which is how it should be. But there were more people out this year. We were impressed by this. We were saying, thank you, Jesus. Look at what is happening here. More people are willing to help other people. They were showing kindness. They were being kind. And with that in mind, I started thinking about kindness. I wanted to see what the Bible was going to tell us about it. And in Colossians 3.12, the Bible tells us, Therefore, as God, God's chosen people, chosen people, excuse me, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. You see, this is one of the characteristics of God's people, and that's kindness. And he tells us about this here. I also saw in Romans 12, 14, that gentle kindness is our response to God's love to us. And it reads this way. If someone mistreats you because you are a Christian, don't curse them. Pray that God will bless them. When others are happy, be happy with them. And if they're sad, share their sorrow. You know, and that's something I could truly say that I see here on uh, Fearless Faith and in our community. When, some, when we're happy, everybody's happy with us and they rejoice with us. When we're sad and when there's sorrow, when there's needs, people are jumping in to help. They want to pray. They want to be there. They want to be in concert in prayer and, 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 uh, and work together as a community. And I, I just so impressed with that and I so love that about you folks. You all are showing characteristics of God. You all are showing genuine compassion and kindness. But you know, showing undeserved kindness imitates God's character. And that's what we want to do. When we accept them into our life, we want to imitate his character. In Luke 6.35, the Bible tells us to love your enemies. Do good to them. Lend to them. And don't be concerned about the fact that they won't repay you. Then your reward from heaven will be very great. And you will truly be acting as sons and daughters of God. For he is kind to the, to the unthankful and to those who are very wicked. He wants us to be kind and to love one another and to show his love through us to other people. So I hope you will do that today. And I hope that inspires you. And thank you for your kindness. God bless everyone. Look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. God bless you and have a wonderful day.